we are simply thinking those who are committed a crime they should be punished those who are committed a sin should be put given due judgment even today this has not sinked inside us we are just make comments oh this person should suffer because he has done something wrong let it sink inside you our god is a god who listens to our tears 2 kings chapter 20 from 1 this is about king hezekiah in those days hezekiah became sick and was at the point of death and prophet isaiah son of amos came to him and said to him thus says the lord set your house in order for you shall die you shall not recover then hezekiah turned his face to the wall and prayed to the lord he cried and before he leaves that compound sisters and brothers the lord changed his mind we read verse 3 remember now o lord i implore you how i have walked before you in faithfulness with the whole heart and have done what is good in your sight hezekiah wept bitterly hezekiah wept bitterly we are surrounded by people when we cry they will say after some time automatically this person will stop crying this this is the way we are surrounded by people and we are just thinking god also like that when hezekiah wept bitterly we read verse 4 before isaiah had gone out of the middle court before he leave that place the word of the lord came to him then back and say to hezekiah prince of my people thus says the lord the god of your ancestor david i have heard your prayer i have seen your tears indeed i will heal you on the third day you shall go up to the house of the lord just see god just he heard somebody crying he changed his decision and we call our god as an unmoved mover we call our god as the great i am but we should know our god is also so much compassionate 